Well then. What's going on guys? Bradley Martin here uh, with my son. This is not Buddy. your son. This is my son. This is someone else's son. No, this is my this son. Is I son. didn't tell anyone. It's been a long time. How old are you now, son? Nine. 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 It's been, I, 30? That means I had him like... 21? 21, dude. Good math, man. Long time, right? You're my son, right? No. What are you... <laughs> buddy, get out of here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> tell them that. Come on. What's the okay. title, title of the video? Is you revealing your my son? My son, no. Um, so, guys, the workout today, three things you need to do to shoulders to grow them. Like, not just like this way, but also like this way and this way. And strength. And strength. Because it was a little bit of strength involved as far as like the sets and the reps. So, check this out. Started off with a warm up, face pulls, four sets. And I focus, this is what I focus on when I do the face pulls. I focus on pulling it like just under the brim of my hat. But if you guys don't have a hat, pull, focus on pulling it to like your, the top of your nose or a little bit lower, depending. But when you do it, you want to try and do it in a way where you grab the rope on top, right? So on top of the rope, instead of like grabbing it here, like see my, my wrist, I don't know how to describe that, but instead of like just grabbing it like this, I feel like if I had a rope, this would be more beneficial to you guys. Oh, boom, okay, so the rope, right? We had to go get this now. So a lot of people just grab it and kind of go like this. Yeah. See like my, my wrist placement, right? Yeah. I want you to grab the rope like this. Yeah. Okay? So when you pull the rope towards your face, and you're gonna, it's gonna be a little lower though too, by the way, so you're not gonna be this high. So you're gonna be, again, like this. Wrists are almost kind of like outside. Yeah. Instead of just here, okay? Outside, and when you pull to your chin, or to your, to your nose, excuse me, you're gonna pull out, and you're gonna slightly rotate. So like, it's so hard to see, but your hands, your hands will be here and out. Yeah. So think about pulling back and out, okay? Cool. I went from there, I did four sets, but I did these back to back, three different exercises. So I did the face pulls. This is all to warm my rear delts, because I've always had a problem with like shoulder pain when I'm doing the rest of my workout. So if you have some shoulder pain, warming up your shoulders probably will help big time, okay? Um, I went from the face pulls to the rear delt fly on the chest fly machine. And I did, I did the variation where I don't grab the bar super hard. I kind of like rest my hands out here. Um, you can keep your hands closed. I would suggest keep them open. And I did um, one at a time, right? And then other one, and then I did both. Okay, so it's kind of like, I, I really just try to focus on, because my right side is my problem side, I always try and focus on like get, activating my shoulders properly before I get into any other pressing movement. So, cause you know you guys, like if, if this not set up and sturdy yet, if it's not warmed up, there's not good enough blood flow, like you'll get into some exercises and you may notice like, oh, this falls out of groove, like which happened later on when I did some um, shoulder presses. And that's honestly just because I haven't tried to like press heavy weight in, in a long time for the shoulder press. But if you guys notice like you're pressing sometimes and you fall out of groove or something bothers you, likely it's, it, over time it could be because something is wrong, but a lot of times it's because you're not warming up properly. And I, I learned that like as I've gone through training over the years, um, so warm up properly. I know like, I remember when I was 20, I was like, fuck this, I don't care about warming up, I'm just gonna go. And that works for some time. And then like 27 comes around, it kind of catches up with you a little bit. So warm up properly. And the uh, last part of this warm up was the pass-throughs or shoulder dislocation, whatever you want to call them with the PVC pipe. And I just focus on, in between sets, doing reps, 20, and remember, arms gotta be long, arms gotta stay straight. So don't bend, don't bend your arms to get it around your head, okay? So that's the warm up. All right, also guys, by the way, so if you guys want more like in detail, like workout information, articles, daily workouts, meal plan, everything, like I have all this stuff set up on my, my membership site. Go to bradleymartin.com, sign up, it's $9.95, uh, or you can sign up for yearly, and I'm gonna think of something special to give to those guys. Uh, but yeah, sign up right now, check it out. Should be in the link below. Again, it's bradleymartin.com. And it's kind of like a little bit more, more informational stuff like this. So you guys can go and apply it to yourselves in the gym and just fucking look amazing. Like better than Kev, right Kev? No. For sure better than Kev, like it just takes like, like, like a week. You know, like, week. you know when people are like, yeah, take it like a week. Damn. Yeah, how, how long you working at? Oh, oh yeah, you can't get it like that in like two, two, three, three months? With I get them. that a lot. Yeah. You're like three months, three good months, like arms, that's it. All right, so the workout's like this. We started with uh, military seated shoulder presses. And what I tried to do was, I did one work, one, not one work, I did one warm-up set after my warm-ups where I was like, okay, I feel good. 
And then after my one warm-up set, I think it was like 50, 55 pounds or something like yeah. that, uh, 52. Just I'm not trying to go for like max reps or anything like that. Just trying to like feel ready, like trying to feel the movement. Okay. Then I went from the warm-up set to four working sets. The first working set was 100 for reps. I'm not trying to count the reps. I'm just going as many as possible. But I did them alternating, so alternating variation. So instead of just two, two at the same time, I did unilateral one at one at a time. And I did one set with the hundreds, and then I did one set with the 125, another set with the 125, and then I did another set with the hundreds. Okay, so a slight little like a like a little pyramid kind of mini pyramid, like a like a like one of these. A pyramid, like a little a pyramid. Pyramid. It's a pyramid. Mini pyramid. It's a mini pyramid. It's a mini mirror pit. <laughs> Anyways, so we went from there straight to seated lateral. So seated laterals. This was not at all about the weight. Oh, standing laterals too. Yeah. So did we record the seated? I don't think we recorded any seated. Uh, no. Okay. So for, just for the sake of this, I did the lateral variation. I did shoulder shoulder raises, and it wasn't um, heavy weight at all. The ones you guys are gonna see, I did I did a few before the standing, but the ones that I want you guys to focus on are gonna be the standing. Um, so I did the standing side laterals, just literally just for reps, four sets, 12, 15, 18 reps. The point of this though is not just like trying to get a ton of reps. The idea is trying to get really good quality reps and don't rush it. Try not to use your hips. The weight shouldn't be that heavy so that you feel like you need to jerk your hips. You should be like, you can kind of use like a little bit of a, a little bit of a dip to start it, like a little pop, like a dip and then a pop to start it. But try your best not to like jerk it because you want to be able to control it at the top, okay? From there, I went to the well, I snuck in some bicep curls. I'm not gonna lie, I snuck in some bicep curls because someone else had it set up and I was like, ooh, this looks like, you know, like candy. Oh, I can do this. And honestly, I always feel better after I get a bicep pump. So I was like, and increase the rest of my workout, made it feel better. All right, so the last exercise, and I'm telling you guys this, like, listen, like, heed my advice here. Do heavy shrugs, okay? Now, the reason why is because you're probably a lot stronger than you think. Like, I guarantee you're a lot stronger than you think on the shrugs. Um, the hardest part about heavy shrugs is gonna be your grip. And no, I'm not necessarily trying to work my grip strength, but I do really like to incorporate heavy shrugs without um, a wrist wrap or anything. But if you, if you wanna use a wrist wrap, that's fine as well. But don't underestimate your ability to shrug, because I guarantee you guys could probably like, you know, you got deadlifting like 300 pounds or 400 pounds or 500, 800, whatever you guys are deadlifting, you're gonna feel stronger doing shrugs. And I think a lot of people under, they lowball themselves on shrugs. Like they just do lighter weight for more reps. Um, and I'm not saying every single time you do shrugs go super heavy, but for this workout, try to go heavy and try not to use wrist wraps. Um, yeah, then you get a stronger grip. What's up? That's it. Yo, so a little surprise. I mean, I didn't really know, you know, like today was the day. But so we got the workout done. The workout's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys like the details and that. Actually, I probably should have already given it to him. This is probably at the end of the video. Is it then? Yeah, because we're filming, we're gonna go film the, the information stuff and yeah. put it on top of the video. Oh, okay. So this is the end. This is the sign off. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, turn the post notifications on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. You guys already know. Um, but my boy right here came to the gym. What's up? He's laced. Look at him. Yeah. Look, he's laced. Head to toe. Head to toe. Those he's are your shoes too? Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Those, those are, are your shoes. shoes. They're not out yet. Secret. We need BM Fit shoes it's too. Super secret. Super <laughs> secret. But tell him your name real quick. What's up, guys? Julian over here, Bodybuilding Nation. This is my page. Yeah. I post Bradley's shit all the time. He's, I love his clothes, his content. You know, that's how we usually met. But yeah, he's favorite line. And favorite you, line. And you have you have body. You have a ton of accounts. Right? Oh yeah, nine. I have nine accounts. I have a three million following network. But my most known account is Bodybuilding Nation. We're 10K from 1.4. Hey, let's so. go, baby. So it's go hard to grow. We'll it's hard to grow nowadays. But I've seen it, like, because I went and looked at his page, like, even your personal page, he always has my shit on. Oh, so yeah. then I saw, I, it was like looking through, I think I was on the zoo tag, and I was like, whoa, this the dude hashtag, is at my gym. Follow the hashtag. Yeah, he my, follows BM Fit hashtag, zoo culture hashtag. And I was like, yo, this dude's at my gym. Where are you from? New York. Okay, New from York. New York. Yeah. And I was like, yo, where, where, when you come back, you say, come back today. So it's 11. It's a little, you, a little late. You said 11. Uh, yeah, it's was like an hour late. You know, I dyed my, my hair red for this shit. Dang. Uh, match the equipment. You gotta match the equipment. Yeah, this guy's more dedicated yeah, I dyed than you. Yeah, I dyed my hair too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you the gang right here. Yo, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, subscribe to the channel, check them out. Appreciate the love, man. Thank you so much.